A few people have commented on my soldering iron, so I thought I'd do an overview of it. I got this at a ham fest a few years ago for about five dollars. They had two of them. Very much regret not getting the other. This is so handy, it's beyond belief. I bought it for the cage so that I could uh, put a soldering iron in there and not have to worry about it. But when I got to looking at this soldering iron that came with it, it's a GE Company Catalog 6A274 60 watt volt 120 ZV. So it's a 60 watt soldering iron. Really nice for working on antennas. So if you're soldering connectors or soldering uh, piece elements of the antenna together, this works really well. A 60 watt you would never use for electronics. It would destroy whatever you're working on. But I like it because it has this case. You can put this soldering iron in the case and there's no way to get something against it to burn it because it has an outer case and an inner case but it has all these ventilation holes to let the heat out and on the back side it's actually blocked you can't something cannot go in the back of it so I got this and I, and I didn't I haven't done anything to it it looks uh, corroded it's got solder all over it this is actually rusted but I use it for antennas so I don't I've never done anything to it but it is so useful. 60 watt soldering iron normally is a gun and I don't like the gun configurations. I like these a lot better. So if you have one of these and you know anything more about it, leave me a comment or send me a message. I uh, would like to know more about these. So I just thought I'd give a quick overview of the soldering iron and how useful it is. Uh, if you like the videos, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.